we have, I did a list of how many Hovenes we have in church. How many Hovenes do you guys think we have in church? Or, or, yeah, in church that come maybe that are from home, you know, maybe not that they come every Sunday, but we know our Hoven is that they're, they're, they're from home. How many, throw out numbers at me, how many Hoven is do you guys think? Ah, tampoco. How many? Okay. Okay. Well, Mima knew because I told her I made the list. We actually have 83, 82 Hoven where, I mean, it impacts my mind how big of a youth we really have. Um, but like I was saying, we were called to edify, right? And all of us, we were all made for a calling, you know. Maybe, you know, some of us were made for alabanza, some of us were made to preach, some of us were made to serve. But we all serve a purpose. And it says in First Corinthians 12, you know, it could be you could take the most minimum member or the most person that you think is the least, but they're the most important one. It's in, in chapter 12, if you guys want to look it up. I don't remember the verse. But my point is we were made to edify. We were made to help and, and motivate our holiness. You know, especially, you know, us that, that God has impacted our lives, that has done miracles. And so I wrote, imagine if we were all light in this city. How lit up the city would be. God has called us to be light and lead others into the light. Just because we are young does not disqualify us to do great things. God has called us to be edifiers, but we must stand firm on what we believe. We cannot grow custom to this world. God uses the seen. Oh, wait. God uses the seen so we can see the unseen. And... And that phrase, God uses the seen so we can use the unseen, actually came from, from Abby. She, she got into my car and, and not that my car is dirty, right, guys? Um, but you know how when, when things are, I guess, dusty, you could see the particles in the light, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? Or no? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Right? And we can't see air, can we? No, right. Okay. So we can't see air, but she came in and she was like, oh, look, I see, I see air. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and, and she was like, yeah, you know, she was like, look, and, and you could see the particles. So it came to my mind, you know, we can't see air but through particles or things that our eyesight is able to reach to see. You know, we, in a way, you could say we could see the unseen. It's like we can't see wind, but if it blows on a snowy day, you see where that wind is blowing. So God uses things that we can see to see the unseen. You know, maybe none of us have seen God, but we have seen, I mean, at least I can say I've seen the power of God or how God uses my pastor or how God uses other ministers or how we see maybe people that pray for others and, and they resurrect. You know, we're not literally seeing God but God uses the seen, which you could say is the men, so we can see the unseen, which is God. So that's the same way God wants to use each one of you that, let's put my example, that I can see so that I can see God between or through you guys. So my point is that you guys were made to edify. You guys were called, you know, so God can use you. You know, yeah, God is almighty and powerful, and, and honestly, he doesn't need us. He could heal whoever he wants, whenever he wants. But he's trusting us so much responsibility, or he's loved us so much that he's like, you know, Carla, I trust you. That, that you know, I'm sorry to put you on the spot. But, you know, I trust you that I'm going to make a director out of you. I'm going to give you a beautiful voice, and you're going to lead my people into my presence. You know, that's... For her, right, because we all know she sings and, well, she just directed, right? But each one of you, you guys have a gift that's necessary to, to develop, to exercise. And, I mean, I don't want to keep talking because, like I told you guys, I'm not going to, I'm really not going to preach. Um, but just, I just want to put one verse as base, and we're going to play a game. And within that game... Um, is going to be my teaching or points that I wanted to point of us being edifiers. Um, I put when the pastor, uh, Sapico, came, 
he said, uh, he was mentioning about Nehemiah and Esdras. And he was saying about, you know, he mentioned if we were all light, you know, lit up in the city, the city would be lit up. And if you read Nehemiah, Esdras, uh, Zacharias, Ahel, they're all talking about the restoration of the temple. But my impact is that uh, when Esdras was called from, uh, no, Esdras, yeah, Esdras was called to, to rebuild the temple, um, there was two prophets that helped him, which was prophet Zechariah and prophet, I guess you would say a, a guy, I don't know in English, Ahel in Spanish. Um, y en las profecías de Ahel, there's a verse that he says, it's Ahel 1-2, and yeah, 1-2. I'll read it in Spanish and then English. It says, Así ha hablado Jehová de los ejércitos, diciendo, Este pueblo dice, no ha llegado aún el tiempo, el tiempo de que la casa de Jehová sea reedificada. The Lord Almighty said to Haggai, These people say that this is not the right time to rebuild the temple. So they were living a time where God is calling his people to rebuild his temple. But they didn't recognize it. And if you guys can read I mean, read this book, which is short. And it's incredible because it's talking to us. Because we are living the times, or we are living the end of times, where I believe that we're called, como jóvenes, to rebuild this temple, one, our temple first, and rebuild a temple as a family that we are. But these people didn't recognize that it was their time to start rebuilding. Or maybe God was telling them through prophecies, maybe there was a leader that that was risen, and, and, and maybe they didn't want to, or, or maybe they were uh, comfortable, or maybe they had distractions, and this is where my, my topic goes in. So they didn't know the time to edify. So, oh, you can't see all of it. Well, yeah, you can. So in order to edify, it's not all fun and games, and it's not going to be easy, but there's five categories that I want to point out. There's, there's battles when we start building, um, there's, you'll, you'll see when we read the questions. Um, it's necessary that we need to be awakened to build. Another thing is uh, unity. We need unity because not one man, yeah, God called certain men and raised them up as leaders, but they didn't do all the work. You know, yeah, Moises Tuvo el llamado de a ir a libertad al pueblo de Israel de Egipto, pero él tuvo Aarón, él tuvo, ¿verdad? Al punto que él, él no pudo um, ministrar a todo el pueblo donde tuvo que llamar ancianos que lo ayudaran. Um, so not one person is called by themselves to do the work of God. You know, just like the church you see now, right? We have our apostle, but it's not him doing all the work and him and ideas. You know, he has ancianos. And then bajo los ancianos tiene diáconos. And then there's leaders in different groups. So it's a group team. And that's the importance of unity. Um, there's also distractions that there's going to be when God calls us to, be, uh, to, to build. And we need the glory of God to build. Without God's presence, there's a verse. Um, you know, uh, how does it go? It goes, um, you know, en vano trabajan los trabajadores. Si Dios no está uh, trabajando, or paraphrase like that, you know, it's in vain for us to work if God isn't in the assumption. You know, it's vain to come to this place if God's presence isn't here. That's why it's necessary for us to have the glory of God. Okay, so let's start the game. Sorry, I took a little bit too long for the introduction. But, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, um, 14, right? And I, I won't play. Um, 14, so we'll do, wait, did I count Nico? I counted you, right, Nico? Uh, is, is Christian going to play? We'll tell Christian and, and you too, Wanka. Um, so we'll do three groups of, uh, of five. Huh? Three groups of five. Um, yeah, three groups of five, I think it's, it's enough. You guys will all have to answer, uh. Like four questions. Um, all right, so count, count one, two, three, four, five, and obviously, and then we'll divide into those three groups. Uh, so you start, Junior. Just say one. 
Yeah, like one, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thinking. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. All right. Junior is a one, year two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So all the ones come here by junior, all the twos come here in the middle, and then all the threes come to the left side. And Junior, can you just help me with three chairs, actually? All right, so I hope you guys read the Bible today because the game is obviously questions about the Bible. Um, no, let them sit, sit there. Um, yeah. Nico, uh, huh? Los unos acá, los unos, dos y los tres. Um, Nico, hazme un favor, tráeme tres páginas de papel y, y tres lapiceros. And uh, I have to keep track. Nico, tráeme cuatro mejor, ¿ok? Um, ok, so obviously, you know, you guys know your teams. Um, so you guys are going to pick one person. Obviously, you guys are going to take turns to come first, and then out of the, I didn't do no 500 because it would have been 25 questions, so I just shortened it. So it's just 100 to 400, right? Uh, you guys know how to play Jeopardy, right, or no? Okay, well the point is you guys pick a category, a number, whatever it's worth. Obviously 400 is the hardest question and 100 are the easiest questions. Um, you guys pick a category and since it's, more than two groups, uh, I'm just going to add up. Uh, you guys are going to write down your answers. Don't cheat. Um, and then uh, write down your answers, and whoever gets it right obviously gets the amount of money. Uh, not money. <laughs> the, amount of, uh, <laughs> the amount of points. <laughs> the amount of points. So that's how it's played. And then at the end of the game, we add up whoever has the most points. And then, or however points you have. And then there's actually a bonus question, I guess you could say, that, yeah, the daily double, or, yeah, the daily double, where you could, well, within your team, you guys uh, decide, you know, how much points you're going to kind of bet. And you guys could either, you could bet it all, and you guys will obviously double your amount of points and win, but if you get it wrong, then you'll go negative. Um, we won't add and subtract during the game, because it'll, it'll just too much math. So we're just going to add and add and add. And if you get it wrong, then, then, you know, you just got it wrong. No, no, you can't pass it to another team. Huh? Yeah, I know. That's what I was going to do, but then I'd have to, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just simpler and faster. Um, so, wait, where's the division between ones? Okay, you're, okay. And then, oh, you guys are missing one. Oh, Christian. Puedes jugar? Oh, okay, me mess with you. Never mind. Okay, so pick your first person. Uh, and then whoever is volunteer, come sit in a chair. All right, let's see. Okay. Uh, no, no, you can't use the Bible, guys. Huh? What? What? You know, you can't use it. it, it I picked easy questions um, just because I didn't want to, you know. No, no, you guys are just rooting for your team. <laughs> what? Because they're, they're, you know, depending on you guys. All right. Huh? Huh? Um, yeah. No, no, it's they're all going to answer the same question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, all right, there's going to be a question. You guys read it. And you guys, whatever you guys think is the answer, put it. 
put it down. No, no, it's just you got it's like one word basically. Um then you you yeah. Oh, Byron. Okay, Byron, you'll, you'll be in. So I'll start in the equipo ahí. En ese. Ajá. Uh, I don't know, because I already appointed. <laughs> All right, so Carla, pick a question. Someone doesn't. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Sorry. Oh, no. How do I go back? No, because then the question is going to pop up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Why is it? No, I don't think so. I had it. Good. Wanka, can you come help me? Hold on. You guys can start praying for your teammates. What <laughs> <laughs> mm, maybe? No. Uh. Oh, we're close. Nobody talks. Wait, how do you go back to what you were? How'd you get the screen on the side? Sorry, guys. We're learning how to. Que produce not a translation. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Oh, actually, I need a a timer. Huh? You guys have, yeah, you guys have, uh, you guys got to write it on there. Wait, but but in little letters, because cause you guys are all going to share the. <laughs> you guys are going to be timed, so you guys feel pressure. No, actually, it's in Spanish, but I'll, I'll translate it. <laughs> all right, I'll give you guys uh I'll give you guys 15 seconds. Yeah, or a little more. 20, 30? All right, 30 seconds to be merciful. Okay. So dice, la piedad ayuda o es provechoso para todo. Pero qué es lo que solo es provechoso poco? So um, living a holy life helps in everything. But just, um, but there's something that only helps us a little bit. And this is a verse that we should all know. All right, so the, the I guess you could say the, the spiritual training helps everything. Oh, true, true. That's true. But there's only something that helps us in a little bit. And it's a, it's a known verse, so you guys should know it. So I'll count from to ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, end of time. Huh? No, no, no. So now tell me, what would you write? Okay, what did you get, Carla? All right, Junior? Yes. Ejercicio físico. No, it's Primera Timoteo 4.8. It says, for physical training is is of some value, 
<laughs> useful for a little, but godliness, spiritual training is useful and of value in everything and in every way for it holds promises. <laughs> All right, so team one is winning. <laughs> All right, next, uh, next, uh, yeah. Well, it was 400, guys, you know. <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. So the winning team gets to pick the question. Um, oh, la razón que escogí eso es porque una distracción que puede, podemos tener, or I'll just keep talking in English. A distraction, we, <laughs> a distraction we can have is, uh, well, like it says, the exercise, spiritual exercise, obviously helps in everything. And actually in the verse it says it helps for the promises, it helps for the present, and even the future. But the physical exercise, sometimes a distraction could be that we look more of what's outside, right? We want to get six-pack like mine. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we want to get muscles and, <laughs> and things like that, but we don't worry about how our, inter our interior is or how our inside is. And as edifiers, that's the most important thing, how our inside is. And that's what matters, and that's what's going to make us good edifiers. Um, so I guess I'll keep talking to you. Um, but just that, you know, that we need to exercise it and we need to keep edifying. Um, so who, your team one, right? All right. So what question are you going to pick? Do you remember the? All right. He picked battles for 200. Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm just kidding. No, you got to play it. I didn't know there was a team one. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys can use that one. Yeah, that one's disqualified. I have actually 500 for battles, so. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Go, guys. <laughs> you read it. <laughs> I know, right? Now I got thinking. No? no? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess just I'll just keep doing it the way. Oh yeah, just I'll just I'll click on the slide. Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> no, no, but then the answer comes up, too. Yeah, I guess just put it back on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Wonka. Um, oh, wait, can you connect my phone? Or no? Sorry, Wonka. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I'll just, yeah. Okay, so you guys are ready? Okay. Then I can't do anything. <laughs> Hold on, I got to time. Okay. 200, right? You said, uh... Huh? Oh, you guys saw the answer? Huh? All right, so I just, I'll read it. <clears throat> dice, la palabra de Dios dice que no nos ha dado un espíritu, no, que nos ha dado un espíritu de poder, amor y dominio propio. Pero qué tipo de espíritu no nos ha, 
que no nos ha dado. What? Oh. Yeah, you fix it. No, but that's 100. Which one you guys have? Oh, okay. So I guess we'll we'll 200 is is out. And I could draw on it or no? Okay, okay, okay. Just write down which yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold on. All right, so what's the answer, guys? All in a group, and then we'll pick a different question. Yes. Uh, where is it? It's 200, right? No, it's... No. No, it's still not. <laughs> All right, we'll just do it like this. Um, so obviously the answer is cobardía, timidez, o temor. That's the spirit that God hasn't given us. Dice según Timoteo 1:7, porque no nos ha dado un Dios, no, no nos ha dado Dios espíritu de cobardía, sino de poder, de tem- de amor y dominio propio. Pero oh, and this is a versículo de Esdras. Um, The 200, right? It says, en Esdras dice, pero el pueblo de la tierra intimidó al pueblo de Judá y lo atemorizó para que no edificara. And that's why I put one of our battles is just like the people or their enemies, they intimidated them. And, and it goes on and they did a lot of things to stop the work that God had placed them. That's the same way our enemy, he tries to put fear into us. He tries to put, you can't do it. He tries to put us down. And the interesting thing is, para los que son de alabanza, dice, intimidó al pueblo de Judá. Y sabemos que Judá significa alabanza. So that is one of the enemies that we can can have to uh, confront. And that's why en la alabanza, debe de haber libertad. We shouldn't be shy to yell, to dance, a remolinar. You know, I was thinking, you know, what did Jesus do? You know, why shouldn't I, who cares what they say? Who cares who's around me, right? Um, but, I mean, I can keep going, but I don't want to. All right, so pick another uh, topic. Uh, Jeff, uh, Nelson, sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, they're right there. We're waiting for 200. All right, hold on, let me write this down. Because I don't know which one. Oh, right there. Huh? Play? Why? No, it doesn't. No. Because it, it keeps throwing me to battles 100. Oh, and then play? Oh, okay. And read from my phone. Okay, I go to you. No. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. All right, so this is the question. Let's just keep playing. Um, ¿Cómo se llamaba el sacerdote que se encargó de Samuel? You ready? Well, you guys have a couple seconds to maybe meditate, pray. Huh? What is that? My <laughs> whoa, whoa, no cheating, Karina. All right, it's it. No, they're, they're cheating. All right, so I got it. And, Je- and Jeff- Jeffrey. What? Nelson, sorry, I'm sorry. Nelson. Nelson. <laughs> sorry, uh, team three. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, well, Josue y, y Jeffrey. Nelson, oh, my God. <laughs> that was 200, right? All right. Okay, go. You guys can go back to answer <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you guys got the 200. So team one is in the lead. Huh? It's okay, Onka. I mean, we tried. <laughs> but la próxima, we'll play around with it. I'll just read it. So I'm going to just read it off, off my thing. Oh, next three people. Go, go. 
Oh, okay. All right. Uh, we're going to have to speed it. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to have to play a little bit faster because it's uh, kind of late already. And we still got to eat and, and go ice skating. <laughs> okay. Uh, pick a. Um, yeah, sorry. Because team one is just killing it. <laughs> All right, George, go. No, there's no 500. <laughs> it reaches only 400. Okay, unity for 400, 400? Oh, 300, oh, okay, I was like, George. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. Oh, click, yeah. Okay, ¿cuántos entraron al arca de Noé? You got it? Okay. Go. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, did you guys write it down now? That was a six. That's an eight. <laughs> All right, team one and team three got the points. <laughs> that was 300. Right? All right, next, next. Someone for your team. Oh, so someone from. Uh... All right. Uh, we'll we'll let the girl pick. Go get him. Yeah. Yeah. You're. <laughs> She's nervous. <laughs> One hundred. <laughs> okay. Okay. Two hundred or one hundred? No, don't stop playing. We already put the question. Oh no, the question's up. So, quién era la mujer Gloria en la Biblia? Okay, quién era la mujer con el nombre Gloria en la Biblia? Hurry up. <laughs> you guys have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. What'd you guys write? Nah. Okay. Nicole, Nicole tienes que escribir algo. What'd you write? Marta? No, there, no, no existe. <laughs> no hay una mujer en la, en la Biblia que se llama Gloria. <laughs> that was a trick question. Era un poco. <laughs> what? No, that was the only one that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, right? <laughs> Huh? No, Nico. Yo la puse 100 because I thought, you know, it was simple. <laughs> she put none. <laughs> okay, next, next three. ¿Quién no ha ido? Okay, ¿qué, qué? You guys are still winning, though, team one. Okay, just, oh, uh, pick uh, Abdi. Okay, Abdi picked. Okay. Awake. No, there's no 500, guys. 100? Oh, you have it, right? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. ¿Cómo se llamaba el hermano de Marta y María que Jesús resucitó? <laughs> Hurry up, guys. Oh, snap. Hurry up. Okay, time's up. All right, who'd you got? Yeah, Lazaro. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm picking easy questions. <laughs> if I would have, like, study. <laughs> okay, Proximo Tres. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Uno duro. Who goes? Uh, oh. Byron. Oh, no. Byron, please. Byron. Oh, yeah, Byron. 
Gloria, ¿cu ¿cuánto? I think that one's easy, actually. Ah, no. I think it was actually easy, 401. ¿Cuál es mayor, la gloria postrera o la primera? <laughs> well, do say, you better sit down, you're going to be disqualified. <laughs> All right, that's it, time's up. Mm. Yeah, la postrera. Postrera? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, you're all right. No cheating, guys. <laughs> oh, wait, put the answer. Dice, la gloria postrera de esta casa será mayor que la. Okay, next. All right, we're going to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, now only the person answered first. Okay. Yeah, because then it, it, hmm? whoever writes the the answer first gets the. No, no, they'll probably end up breaking it. <laughs> okay, you guys that write it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch you guys. Okay, pick a, a, who won? Oh, you guys all won. That's right, pick one. Okay. No, no, glory for 100? Oh, 400. You say 400 or 100? 300? Okay. Dice, en el templo de quién fue que la gloria llenó la casa y que los turnos se perdieron? In what temple did the glory descend that the turns were lost? Um, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, that, that's really it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand right here. All right, guys, you guys need a, let me time you guys. All right, five, four, three. No, because I already gave you guys. All right. Nobody got it. Next. I will answer. El templo de Salomón. The verse. What? The verse. One time. You say, oh, wait, you didn't give the verse. Just in case they don't believe me. Dice, cuando vinieron todos los hijos de Israel descender el fuego y la gloria de Jehová sobre la casa, se postraron sobre sus rostros en el pavimento y adoraron y alabaron. A Jehová diciendo, porque Él es bueno y su misericordia es para siempre. And you can read the whole chapter and it talks about the glory of God descending. Okay, uh, next three, guys. <laughs> All right, we're halfway through the game. Hmm? Okay, we're just going to finish Glory 200 to just get ese, ese categoría out. <laughs> category out. <laughs> category. Uh, I'll tell you now. La gloria del joven es cual? Uh, no, you got to write it. Hola, Jeffrey. <laughs> Number one. Come on, guys, write it. <laughs> no, no, not anymore. Ya perdí. Ya Huh? What? What do you mean? <laughs> huh? She didn't write it. You wrote it? Oh, she did write it. But I. After. Hello. What? You guys, you guys are too complicated. Um, yeah. Okay, forget the writing, because I see it's not really. Just whoever raises their hand first, I'll see. And you guys can help me see. Yeah, yeah, you have to raise your hand. Don't say nothing. No, I might get a little too violent. Just whoever raises their hand first, and then that's it. All right, next three guys. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Yeah, glory, ya, ya está. Uh, I don't know. No. 
¿En qué libro está este verso? Por lo cual dice, despiértate tú que duermes y levántate de los muertos y te alumbrará Cristo. ¿En qué libro? I guess I'll count. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, no cheating. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. Huh? Oh, no. It's in tan, tan, tan. Ephesians 5.14. <laughs> That's why it was 400. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> you have four, six, nine hundred, a thousand, thousand, six hundred. Six hundred, four, seven, eight. You're winning. Okay, team one has 1,600. Team two has 600. And team three has 800. <laughs> All right, uh, next. Uh, who got it? Nobody. So, no, George. No, Jessica hasn't picked. They, they both picked. Go, Jess. Set walk. <laughs> All right, distractions 200. The, yeah, that one. Question. La raíz de todos los males es que? Jessica. <laughs> what? No, wrong. <laughs> you guys have it. Uh, the, root, the root of all evil is what? The root of all evil is what? Five, four, three. Two, one. No, it's the love of money. <laughs> and no, <laughs> that's a big difference. <laughs> no. So, oh, you can't cross it out. Okay, uh, next three. <laughs> okay, uh, who won last time? No, he didn't. Huh? Oh, Jessica picked. All right, so one of you two. You pick me, man. Come on. No, I, I, I just stopped writing it because I thought. <laughs> just just click in. A ver. Okay, ¿qué salmos nos dice? Mirad cuán bueno y delicioso es habitar todos los hermanos juntos en armonía. ¿Qué capítulo? Obviously it's in salmos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, team three is starting to catch up. It's sixteen hundred, twelve hundred, and six hundred. <laughs> All right, next three guys. <laughs> Maybe we should we just go through the questions? Should we just start? Making them. I'm gonna make them red. We got this, this, that. Yeah. What else? Uh, distractions 200. Do we go there? Or no? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay. Huh? Huh? Okay, Abby, you pick. The the hundred ones are the easiest. The four hundred ones are the hardest. Yeah, I maybe. Mean, well, I mean. All right, unity 100. Remember, whoever raises their hand first. El tiene que levantar la mano primero. Dice, ¿con cuántos guerreros peleó Gedeón? Josué. <laughs> no. Yeah, 300. Good try. Good try. That was 100. 
<laughs> okay, next three. Oh, thank you, oh, Carla. 200, 200? Yeah. Hey, Carla. <laughs> 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 I know, right? <laughs> All right, uh, who won? Uh, who's there? Well, you didn't win, but me. <laughs> All right, question is, ¿Cuántos se tienen que poner en acuerdo en cualquier cosa aquí? Dulce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, it says... Dos, yeah. Que, que si dos de vosotros se ponen de acuerdo. So that's 200. Huh? What? It says two in the verse. No, you want to go back to the verse? <laughs> Huh? Oh, uh, you have 1,200, 1,400. Who's winning? They're still winning, though. Oh. 1,600. Oh. And you guys still have 600. You guys still got it, though. Come on. <laughs> Carlos, stay. <laughs> okay, vamos. Okay, uh, who won? You. Okay, Awaken for 300. Whoa, that one came out backwards. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, you're going to have to pick another one. I don't know why that one came out that way. But the question was, yeah, let's read it. Habían dos discípulos que caminaron con Jesús y no le reconocieron. Se preguntaban... No ardía nuestro corazón. ¿Qué tuvo que darles el Señor para que sus ojos se abrieran? Pan. Y aconteció que estando sentado con ellos a la mesa, tomó el pan y lo bendijo y lo partió y les dio. Entonces les fueron abiertos los ojos. And on. Uh, that was Awakened 300. So pick another one. Um, all right, Battles of 300. Yeah. ¿A qué discípulo le dice Pablo? Nadie te menosprecie tu juventud. Daniel. Yes, Timoteo. <laughs> that was what, 300? Huh? Yeah. Uh, no, actually, they're, they're 100. 1,500. 1,500, 1,600. 600, guys, keep going. <laughs> Don't quit. Karina. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wait, actually, for 800. Yeah, 16, no. Yeah, well, I mean, I have the points. I'll, I'll, I'll do the math after. 400, hold on, 400, 800, 1,000, 1,700. No, actually, they're ahead. By one, 100. Okay, anyways, next question. We'll do the math after and then. Oh, okay. ¿Cómo se llama el hombre que fue distraído por mujeres y su unción puede estar en su pelo? Georgie. Yes, Sansón. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I meant Sansón, guys. <laughs> no, no, the question. I just, I was thinking of something else. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was the wrong answer. All right, next, next people. Didn't they do Battles 100 already? 1700, yeah. Six, huh? They did Battles 100. Yeah? Oh, okay, so red. <laughs> okay. 
We have four questions left, if we're right. <laughs> uh, so you guys are still in it. Um, who, who answered? Uh, go ahead, All right, awake in 100. ¿Cómo se llama el mar? Yeah, Marta dice. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> There's three questions. <laughs> no pressure, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's still not over. There's double jeopardy. Oh, really? What? I don't know. Really? Is that what it's called? <laughs> the last three should be double. No, you have seven. Yeah. <laughs> the last three should be double. Both uh, points. All right. What? Uh, go the pick another one. <laughs> Start minus things. So Subtraction. Hold on. We'll do. There's four left. So the last three will. We'll do that. All right. ¿Cómo se llama el sacerdote? No, we did that one. Oh, lie. These are the last three. <laughs> All right, so hold on. Four, six hundred, nine hundred, a thousand, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, seventeen hundred. No, you guys have seventeen hundred. You guys have seven hundred. Eight. Actually, you guys are tied, team one and team him. Yeah, 1,700, 1,700. <laughs> you guys could come and do the battle. All right, que no nos debemos adaptar para que nuestras mentes sean renovadas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 600? Yeah, because it's <laughs> What? Wait. Oh, so 2,300. <laughs> two more. All right, two more. Uh, the last one should be times three. No, because we have a... Uh, uh. All right, these are double, guys. So uh, pick... Uh, who got it? Oh, Danny. <laughs> Unity 300. <laughs> yeah? Ah. Oh. Okay, we have one question left. Count the last one times three then. No, because they still have one question that you guys can bet everything or a little bit. <laughs> huh? Huh? No, no, right now it's just double points. Oh, the last, last question? Yeah, if you get it. No, no, like there's one more after this last question. Like a bonus, you could say. All right, so this is worth 800 points. ¿Qué quebró Moisés cuando vio al pueblo? Jessica. Yeah. That was 800. That was 800, right? Okay, so you guys have to pick one person in your team to represent. <laughs> I don't know if this question is too hard for you guys. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, what? I killed her. Is it too hard? Is it? Oh, okay. You guys don't know. All right. Uh, who would you? But what if I don't know? Wait, wait. The thing is, like, in English, because it takes me forever to Okay, no, no. It's that. It's that. It's that. It's that. It's that. It's that. It's I'll give you guys a. Uh, Yo lo decía en español y en inglés para que no. No, 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 because this is it. Oh, you guys are supposed to talk with your people. Um, because esta pregunta, okay. El equipo uno tiene 2,500. El equipo dos tiene 700. No, no, you, it's not a group thing. Yeah. 
No, no, y el equipo 3 tiene 200, 300. So cada grupo puede... Uh, you could either bet everything, los 2,500, pero si pierden, they man, obviously, se quedan con cero. If you, if you say, huh? No, no, you could bet like 500, 200, 300. And you guys, you guys get it, right? So you guys have 2,500 points. You guys, huh? Two, no, they have 2,500, you have 2,300. No, no, no. 2,300. So you could bet the 2,300, and if you get it right, you'll have 4,600. But if you get it, huh? Something. <laughs> oh, wait, so what, okay, so me tienen que decir cuánto van, how much you're risking it all? Okay. Uh, ¿Cuánto? How much? You, how much you guys betting? Huh? Whatever. Oh, you have 2,500. Well, they're betting everything. They, they're. Uh, <laughs> you have 2,300. What? <laughs> Oh, no, but don't tell nobody. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I, actually, I have to tell them. Just, just, just so it's, it's fair. Well, guys, come on, hurry up. Cause <laughs> 600? No, 700? No, you have 700. You guys got another. <laughs> well, it has to be a group decision. <laughs> well, you guys have five people. No, six people. Vote who wants everything, who doesn't want everything. All right, they win. That's everything. <laughs> All right, team one is going everything. No, yeah. <laughs> It's four against three. <laughs> All right, you guys. No, she didn't. So what? You just pick a number. <laughs> You're not winning money, huh? What? What? Yeah. No. I can't tell you. How much are you betting? How much are you betting? How much are you betting? No, I can't tell you. What? No, no, you didn't. It's not that. Oh, I get what you're trying to tell me. <laughs> huh? What? They're betting everything. So you guys two thousand? Yeah, you have two thousand three hundred. <laughs> All right. So if they if they get the question right, they'll have five thousand. But if you also get the question right, you only have four thousand three hundred. So I don't I don't know. I'm just putting that out there. And you guys will have 1400 huh? No, because they're betting their 2,500 points. Hmm? Yeah, they'll lose every, they'll end up zero. No, you guys win. If Mima gets it right, though. Hmm? <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Yeah, because you're betting everything. Because what if they two get it wrong and you get it right? Then you win. Because they. No, because they, they're ne if you get it wrong, you're negative. You get it? So, like, they're betting 2,500. If they get it wrong, then they're zero. Well, yeah, that's why they both need to get it wrong and then you guys are right. So. <laughs> no. Wonka. <laughs> What? Okay. Lo leo, hermano. 
Okay, so that's it. You guys are betting everything. You, so you guys are all betting everything? <laughs> Only 2,000? Okay. All right. All right, Wanka. Let it go. That says chapters. No, you guys had to write it. It's not who's first. No, it's not who writes it first. It's, it's whoever. Because you guys bet everything. Nima. You guys ready? I can't tell you guys. Come on, dude. Ten. Nine. Huh? Ya la puso? Okay, el hermano dice, ¿cuánto? Dos. Dos. El, la Carla dice uno. Y you put it, dance it. Oh, it's coming. I Two. <laughs> no, I didn't. No. <laughs> Team one wins. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, el hermano Biden. <laughs> All right, muchachos. Solo, um, you guys can go sit back down. Calm down, relax. <laughs> um, I wonder Robert. Yeah, we're just going to pray to, to para despedirnos. Um, let's just pray. Uh, maybe I should have done less questions because I didn't get to explain why I picked the questions. Um, pero like I was telling you guys in the beginning, you know, que Dios nos ha llamado a ser edificadores. Y como vieron, ¿verdad? Las batallas que hay, uh, you know, que dice que se burlaron de ellos, los desanimaron, los menospreciaron, um, hasta, se puede decir, murmuraron contra ellos, les, les hicieron falsas profecías contra Nehemías, contra Esdras. So, cuando se habla de la edificación, hay batallas. Y si ya están en un liderazgo, con más razón están llamados a ser edificadores. Y creo que todos hemos sido llamados a ser líderes. So, so aún entre esas batallas tenemos que seguir peleando, tenemos que seguir edificando. Aunque tal vez vengan pensamientos, tal vez ¿verdad? me quiero ir de la iglesia o me quiero ir del grupo. No, ¿verdad? Pues Dios los ha llamado a edificar, ¿verdad? a edificar su templo y edificar a otros, ¿verdad? Pero como les decía, es necesario to be awakened, que nos despierten, porque cuando Dios llama a Zoro Babel, dice que despertó su espíritu, ¿verdad? Lo tuvo que despertar para que él pudiera ir a edificar, ¿verdad? Y habla ahí en Ajeo es cuando dice, la gloria postrera será mayor que la primera, ¿verdad? Vemos la gloria que estuvo en el templo de Salomón, que aún dice que él era un joven, que no tenía experiencia, que David habla de Salomón y era un joven como nosotros, pero tal vez así, tal vez no tenemos experiencia, tal vez solo tenemos pocos de años en la iglesia, ¿verdad? pero como Salomón le pidió sabiduría a Dios, por eso lo prosperó, por eso le dio eh, la sabiduría, la unción, la gloria para poder edificar el templo donde, donde al punto que se perdieron los turnos. Um, ¿verdad? Hay distracciones, ¿verdad? Hay, hay muchas cosas, ¿verdad? pero el plan principal de Dios es, es la salvación. ¿verdad? Y solo oremos rápidamente y, y, y después les explico lo, lo próximo que vamos a hacer. Gracias, amado mío, Señor, por tu bondad, por tu gracia, por ayudarnos, Señor Jesús, por esta enseñanza, Señor, por dejarnos tener esta economía, Señor, con los jóvenes. Ayúdanos Señor a ser edificadores amado mío, ayúdanos papito bello Señor como los obreros Señor en Nehemías que restauraban las murallas, que con una mano podamos tomar la espada Señor y con la otra podamos trabajar para tu reino Señor, equipa diestra cada joven Señor de esta casa.